I'm Tess Garrison, and I'm the creator of the Jane Rizzoli and Maura Isles series of novels. Let's shoot it! Oh, the gun's down or she's dead! Oh, no! Breaking lady, there's no time! Your brother's probably already dead. was a, a, an episode that was written by Janet Tamaro. And Janet, who is the showrunner and the head writer, she and I have similar sensibilities when it comes to story. She loves a high tension, uh, very dark kind of story. And that season finale was just exactly what I would have wanted in one of my books. Okay, he's going to die right here on this table. If you don't do something, think. Okay. Okay. Have to insert the tube to drain the blood. Okay. Yeah. We trust you. This is painful. This is gonna hurt. Do <clears> it. <throat> okay. Go. When I first created Jane Rizzoli, it was in a book called The Surgeon, and Jane was just a secondary character who was supposed to die. I made her quite intense, uh, very smart, very aggressive, uh, and I think that that particular character is very well portrayed by Angie Harmon. Tell me, Jane. What would you like to do to me? I'd like to get my gun and put it in your mouth and pull the trigger. They have changed the character of Maura Isles a bit. She's now sunnier. She's uh, quite um, an innocent in a way, although she continues to be a logical scientist. Excuse me. You have beautifully developed musculature. I'm never working out with you again. And I think it's that that contrast between these two women that people identify with when they watch the show. It must be very complicated to be you. You have no idea. I think what surprised me the most was how they have taken the character of Maura Isles uh, and also how they have developed this friendship. Now, in the books, uh, I have to admit, the friendship has been very slow to develop. They have been wary partners uh, in crime solving. The show has brought their friendship to the forefront. It has been funny. It has been very, very charming. Let's go get a Bloody Mary. Great. <laughs> but dress like that? These are my going out clothes. Oh. <laughs> I think it shows a different element to how women can work, even if they're in a very, very dark career. I guess it's a trick thing. 